And next, we head over to New School, the first entertainment learning platform that uses media, pop culture, and current events to create lesson plans and assessments. Today, we're at New School. We're going to meet with the founder of Braun Maldonado. He's going to teach us all about his business, and we're going to learn some new stuff about ed tech. Now, Braun, where did you come up with the idea for New School? To give you the long story, it came out of the fact that I was a Gates scholar. Yeah. Um, they mandated that I explore certain fields that Bill Gates wanted to fund, right? Or in, and do more research in, education being one of them. Yeah. Right? So working in the music industry, working with rappers and, and producers, um, I realized that I had to do more than just climb the, the mogul ladder. I was doing my PhD, and I was doing work in schools with Peace. I had, I had this organization. What's peace? So Peace stood for Positive Entertainment and Creative Education. Gotcha. It was my way of doing new school, but in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So I would get contracted by schools and organizations to, and PTAs to come to a school and get the kids passionate about learning, but in a way that reflected the student. So I started by reaching out to teachers and schools and saying, look, I'll give you the scoop on how entertainment works. I'll give you the breakdown on what the songs are about, uh, what video game content really that your students are really focusing on, and then I'll let you know how to use this in the classroom. Or if you're a parent, I'll let you know how to speak to your kids at home, right? Understanding youth through their culture, and that's what the workshop was called. So that kind of grew and that evolved, and then it got to a point where teachers were like, this is great, now what? What do I do when I go home? Or what do I do when I go back to my classroom yeah. and try and teach my students using your strategies? Do you have anything that I can use? Um, can you email me some lessons that use entertainment or pop culture? And that's the perfect segue into creating the website. So rather than emailing teachers one-off lessons, we decided, hey, let's just create a platform. Let's recruit everyone that we know, all the experts that are doing the same work that we're doing, right, using pop culture in the classroom, all the cool teachers in all your schools, and have them write for our site, and teachers have a home for something that they do anyway. Now, did you ever teach? I did. I taught for three years middle school language arts. Students want to learn about the things that matter most to them. And they're going to learn more if they care. They're going to learn more if they care. And we've seen that with our own experience in the classroom. I've assigned essay assignments to my students with the basic prompts that we get from the district, right? And what do you get? You get basic work back. So then I'll tell that same class, you know what? Forget this. We're going to write on Call of Duty, right? You all play Call of Duty in the classroom. Girls and boys, right? All you talk about in the class is Call of Duty. So we'll change the assignment. We'll make it about Call of Duty. What's the objective? Persuasive writing. Great. You're going to write a persuasive writing essay in Call of Duty. What did I get the next day? I got seven pages, right? <laughs> Typed with screenshots of the game. Of course. Right? Where they were only required to do three paragraphs on a single page. And they volunteered the extra content. So they are more productive, more articulate, because it's something that they know and it's something that matters to them. There must have been some kind of learning curve getting into ed tech. What was the learning curve like? I knew how to make new school content, right? But I didn't know how to make an ed tech website, company, tech startup, right? Where, so we are now a tech startup, right? I didn't know what the hell a tech startup was. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, yeah. right? It was a new term to the East Coast where everyone knew about it on the Silicon Valley side of things. Um, so I was like, all right, well, I'm not a scholar anymore. I'm not an educator anymore. I'm not an entertainment mogul or executive anymore. I'm a tech startup founder. I'm an entrepreneur. All right, now I got to start playing this role and understanding what this means and meeting the people that I need to meet to help me understand what this means. Yeah. Now, how did you start raising money for this idea? Well, I started doing some research, some basic internet research. Incubators started to pop up. And then the word accelerator started to pop up. Yeah. So I learned about the accelerator model where there are actually, you know, incubators that would actually accelerate and expedite the development of your company. Yeah. Um, and Tech Launch was one that was based in New Jersey, and it was the accelerator program for New Jersey. So I'm sure that you've had some pain points of your own in developing the website and creating 
uh, an interface for both students to enjoy and for teachers to be able to understand. Can you explain some of those? Yeah, so we had to keep things from a technology and a design perspective very easy, ease of use, they call it, right? Very simple, very simplistic for our teachers because they're usually late adopters to technology and they don't need the extra bells and whistles. Our technology in our site isn't focused on the student, it's focused on the teacher. What's focused on the student is our content. What makes your company in particular innovative? The way we approach the platform, New School, is innovative because we're not following the formulas of other ed tech websites or the formula of curriculum development or the formula of education in general, right? We took, student, what do you want to do? How do you want to do it? If that's how you want to do it, then that's how we're going to do it, right? So we took how video games are developed. We take how movies are developed and we applied that to lesson planning. What are some tips you would give to other aspiring tech business owners, some other tech entrepreneurs? I tell companies, I didn't come up with this term or this idea, but you have to fail fast. And it's, it's very true, right? You have to make sure that your idea is not being done already at a critical mass, bigger and better, and already part of the mainstream culture to just reinvent the wheel, yeah. right? You have to make sure that your idea is actually innovative or you have a new twist on an old problem or an old solution. Um, so I tell people, find your idea, make sure that it is a valid idea that you can really run with, right? To make sure that there's nothing relevant in the industry already or in the marketplace. And then once you have that, ask for help, right? And a lot of people don't know where to ask, right? Or don't know how to process the information that they get. So you have to be a lifelong learner. Coming up, Abron tutors me on the new school platform. Welcome back. New School founder Abron Maldonado took his experience working with youths and the entertainment industry to build a learning platform for students. He runs New School out of the tech launch offices and his home. So this is the site. You just go to newschool.com and this brings you to our homepage. Now with version one, we really just focused on writing lesson plans for teachers. And we realized that we were leaving some people out that we really wanted to bring to the site students included, right? We also found that people were really interested in our content, but when they clicked on it, it was just a lesson plan. And they would leave because there was nothing for them. Nothing for them. It to... was nothing for them, right? Okay. So we were like, how do we capture that audience, right? And how do we bring students into the fold, right? So we had to expand our content, make it more dynamic for everyone that came to the site. And now we're hearing that people are just spending all day on our site binge reading the content. So that's That's great not for a us. bad thing. That's yeah. not a bad thing at all. Um, so if you just go to the site, this is the homepage, all of these modules or thumbnails um, are different lessons that we feature on the site across a variety of different subjects. If you're a teacher, you come to the site, you have a very specific goal in mind. You're like, all right, I'm an English teacher. I teach eighth grade, right? And I want to do something that's based on music, right? That's basically what we do. So you go to the filter button, you select your grade, you select eighth grade, your subjects, I'm an English teacher, all right. and Genre, right? So genre is what's innovative here. No other lesson plan ed tech site that you'll go to with curriculum or any content for students will have entertainment genres on the site, right? Gotcha. That's kind of where we put the, the twist to it. So you're an English teacher, you teach eighth grade. Now genre, great, now I can find English lessons on music, film, TV, video games, sports, or just all things pop culture. And if you don't select genre, it'll just populate from all the genres. Populate for all genres for anything related to eighth grade in English. Gotcha. Right, so pick a genre. Uh, let's go music. All right, so we click music. You hit go. So here you go. Now you have eighth grade lessons for English that are all related to the music genre, right? So now you have things, obviously, Jay-Z is a big focal point, Kanye. Uh, you have everything from Kendrick Lamar to Rihanna to Katy Perry. And this week we're going to put a country song, one of our first country songs on there. And just make sure we're reaching everyone, any song that's relevant to our student classroom. So this is what the students see and the teachers see Yes. the full lesson plan. The teachers see the full lesson plan with the assignments and the activities and the quizzes to assign to their students. Awesome, man. Thank you so much Thank for showing you. me new school. Appreciate it. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And, uh, yeah, good luck, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Today we have to hang out at New School and got to meet the founder of Ron Maldonado and he took me to school. Here's some of what we picked up. Number one, ask for help. In order to gain resources for your business, entrepreneurs should seek out support by simply asking. Number two, pay it forward. 
Helping other businesses as they start is a good way to meet new people and expand your own network. Number three, fail fast. Make mistakes early and evaluate potential pitfalls your business may have and correct them immediately. Thanks for watching New Jersey Means Business, your how-to guide for starting your own company. If you have a comment, idea, or business to share, send us a note at New Jersey Means Business at Fios1News.com.